أهلا بكم تقديرا لجهوده وإسهاماته في تحقيق الوئام بين الأديان وحماية المقدسات الإسلامية والمسيحية في القدس بصفته صاحب الوصاية عليها وحماية الحريات الدينية تسلم جلالة الملك عبد الله الثاني يوم الأربعاء الماضي جائزة تمبلتون وذلك خلال حفل كبير أقيم لجلالته في كاتدرائية واشنطن الوطنية ركز فيه على أهمية الوئام والتعاون بين أتباع الأديان للتصدي لمخاطر الكراهية والتطرف ومكافحة الإرهاب وتصحيح المفاهيم المغلوطة مؤكدا جلالته على أن الأردنيين اتخذوا التسامح نهجا مستمرا لا يحيدون عنه كما تحدث في الاحتفال شخصيات دولية وفكرية ودينية عن دور جلالة الملك الفاعل في نشر قيم التسامح والوئام وأهميتها في مواجهة التحديات المعاصرة ومن بين المبادرات المؤسسية التي أطلقها ويرعاها جلالته في مجال إرساء الوئام بين أتباع الأديان ومحاربة التطرف والإرهاب رسالة عمان وكلمة سواء وأسبوع الوئام العالمي بين الأديان إضافة إلى جهود جلالته في الحفاظ على موقع عماد السيد المسيح المختص الذي تم إدراجه من قبل منظمة اليونسكو على لائحة التراث العالمي My friends, our country has long upheld religious mutual respect. The five prophets of great resolve, as they are called in the Quran, prophets of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, peace be upon them all, have blessed our land with their presence. Noah has a tomb in Karak. Abraham came through from the land of what is now Iraq on his way to Hebron. Moses died in Jordan on Mount Nebo. Jesus Christ, the Messiah, was baptized in Jordan on the east bank of the River Jordan by John the Baptist. And my country preserves and this special site and others with great care, welcoming Christian pilgrims and other visitors from around the world. The Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings be upon him, came to Jordan twice, once with his uncle as a boy, when he was witnessed by a Byzantine priest as a future prophet, and then later as a young merchant. It was that first encounter under a tree which is still present in the Jordanian desert that set the tone for Muslim-Christian coexistence and harmony in Jordan. My friends, these prophets of great resolve were on a journey, an internal journey of the self, to fill God's commands. And the first step of any such journey begins with the struggle, the jihad within each of us to be the best person we can be. The greater jihad, the greater jihad of the great prophets brought illumination to all of us. So here at this cathedral, as a Muslim, I'd like to say a word about jihad. And I'm sure that's not something you hear too often within these walls. But nothing, nothing is more important to understand. The greater jihad has nothing to do with a hate-filled fiction promoted by the Khawarij, the outlaws of Islam, such as Daesh and the like, or the Islamophobes, who also distort our religion. It is instead the personal internal struggle to defeat the ego and the struggle we all share for a world of peace, harmony, and love. As has been said in Islam, to love God and love one's neighbor are core commandments. And as Sheikh Hamza noted, the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, said, none of you has faith until you love for your neighbor what you love for yourself. And I am tremendously grateful to the Templeton Prize for making it possible to further this work. A portion of the Templeton Prize will help renovate and restore religious sites in Jerusalem, including the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. And the entire remaining sum is also being donated to humanitarian, interfaith, and intrafaith initiatives in Jordan and around the world.
it is time to do all we can to maximize the good in our world and bring people together in understanding. But it begins with the struggle, the jihad within ourselves to be the best we can be. And it's been said that all it takes for evil to prevail is for good people to do nothing. But together, God willing, we can achieve something important. We can create the future of coexistence that humanity so desperately needs. Let us keep up the struggle. Thank you.